Hey guys, I'm Talia, founder of Four Peak Lunch, and today I'm taking you with me on my entire meal prep Sunday process. Let's get to it. The first thing I do is defrost meat in a bowl of cold water on the counter while I prep and clean the kitchen. Here I'm defrosting salmon, beef, and chicken, and it'll be completely defrosted by the time I'm ready to cook. Then I write down a prep plan to stay organized. This helps me figure out what to cook and when, and I always know what I'm doing next. A meal prep is always more enjoyable when you have a good cup of coffee and an audiobook or podcast and make it go by faster. When I'm cooking something I've never made before, I always glance at a recipe, but it's rare for me to actually follow a recipe. I've never made green rice before, but just looking at it did the trick. So here are some ingredients I'm using for this first meal. We've got black beans, cilantro, onions, chicken, and a lime, salsa, and bell peppers. It's gonna be a good one. I always chop every ingredient before I start cooking because it makes the process a lot less stressful. And here I'm blending up some herbs with chicken stock and milk to make the best rice I've ever eaten. It was seriously so good. By the way, I have a rice video you can check out for cooking perfect rice, highly recommend it. I get it right every time. Always taste while you cook. You have a chance to change the flavors before you commit, so I make a practice of doing it. Next up, I'm roasting bell peppers and seasoning them right on the pan. This helps cut down dishes on, that you'll have to clean up later, so it's a good shortcut to do. So now you have some chicken going right in the pan. By the way, I should have heated up the pan a little bit more. There was no sizzle there. Seasoning with salt and um, just getting a little sear on there before adding salsa. I ended up adding the whole jar <laughs> here I'm measuring, but I really just dumped it all in. adding some onions as well and we're gonna shred that later I know you can shred chicken with a hand mixer or KitchenAid but I prefer to do it this way with forks because it's just faster for me we're getting that back in the pot covering it with salsa this was amazing this was such an easy two ingredient meal now we're packing it up that meal is done the re finished rice goes in there some black beans uncooked goes in there the chicken and the bell peppers and that meal is just finished after I'm done cooking, I start cleaning a little bit to cut down what I'll have to clean later. And just a nice mental reset as well. And that's it, that's done. On to the next one. This next dish is one of the first recipes I learned how to meal prep, sheet pan salmon, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. It's one of my go-tos, and whenever I prep a bunch of meals, I always pick one easy one I could do with my eyes closed. So I'm just adding the defrosted salmon to a sheet pan and covering it with soy sauce and honey. You can put this combo on any protein and it would be absolutely delicious. So I'm just spooning it right on. There's also some garlic and ginger in there too. And I'm going to bake that for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Next up, we have sweet potatoes with olive oil, cinnamon, and cumin. Just tossing that in a bowl. I'm gonna put it on a sheet pan and bake it for about 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Super easy. Cinnamon on sweet potatoes is so good if you haven't tried it. Next up, we're doing broccoli with olive oil, salt, pepper, and Parmesan cheese. Right on the sheet pan. I added Parmesan cheese last minute. And that is it, they're all in the oven. Salmon's done first, then the broccoli and the sweet potatoes come out later. Then we assemble it. So again, this is just such an easy meal. Like you could make this and just do other stuff for a couple minutes and then you're done. And yes, you can meal prep salmon. It's like an ongoing debate. Cleaning again before we start the next meal, done. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you meal prep salmon. Some people are very much against this, but I've been doing it for years and it's fine. All right, this is another new meal. This was the first time I ever cooked it. So we have beef, bell peppers, snap peas, rice noodles, red onion, frozen coconut milk. We have a lime, garlic, and ginger. Here I'm chopping up some beef. I always use a plastic cutting board when chopping raw meat. It's just easier to throw in the dishwasher because you can't dishwash a bamboo or wood cutting board. Just a quick little tip there. And beef cooks really fast, so I'm only cooking this for like two to three minutes with some salt and pepper. 
keeping an eye on it because you don't want to overcook it and I'm going to microwave it so it's really important and then adding a splash of soy sauce for some flavor and then I'm going to remove it from the pan and add veggies in the same pan without cleaning it because we want all that flavor from the beef and stir fries are super quick these veggies only cook for about 10 minutes I'm also making a sauce and you know, I've been make, practicing making sauces for stir fries for a long time, so I'm pretty good at them and it took a lot of practice to get them nice and thick and flavorful. I ended up switching pans because there wasn't enough surface area for heat for this pan, it was too small. But the key really is adding cornstarch. Cornstarch makes it thicken up real fast and you'll be good to go. And this sauce, by the way, was coconut, lime, and ginger. It was just absolutely delicious. And that's it. That's the prep. I cooked those rice noodles on the side for about 20 minutes by letting them soak in hot water. I didn't show that. Also, I spontaneously decided to use up some leftover tofu to make a vegan version of this meal, just cooking it in a nonstick pan. By the way, we have videos for how to cook tofu in the description. That's it. Garnishing with the lime. Such an easy meal. I love this one. It tasted so good. All these recipes, by the way, will be in the Work With Lunch Meal Prep program, so learn more in the description. Finally, we clean everything. This is the best part, the final clean. I try to get it done in 30 minutes, and it usually works. I have a half-size dishwasher, so we usually run it two to three times while I'm meal prepping. Then, after everything cools down for about you know, 30 minutes, I pack it all up and put it in the fridge. Cooling is very important because if you don't cool your meals, they're gonna get soggy because of the condensation. And that's it. Look at that beautiful fridge, all stacked up and ready to go. And then I finish cleaning the big stuff by hand and I'm done. All right guys, that's it. That's my entire meal prep Sunday. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any of the specifics, if you want me to get into something more, tell me in the comments. If you want me to do something next time, tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.